Hi, this is Dan. We're in the uh, green room looking for trading opportunity. We, we, we're we still looking for our bearish bias in the broader markets based upon, you know, reversal at resistance, overbought internals, but we're always on the lookout for things that are on their own page, so to speak. Tilray here is a marijuana and cannabis stock, and it's been a multi-week basing here. Um, it's, you know, we aren't crazy about a directional in this market, but as an income trade, selling an out-of-the-money put spread, Bottom left is my daily, weekly on the right. We were actually prepared to sell this short, but this wide range bar on Tuesday, it turned all of this into support. Here's my 15 minute chart, upper left. Had a little uh, you know, breakdown failure here in strength today. So now I wanna show you, let's look at the option quote table. These are my uh, puts for um, eight days to expiration on Tilray. Now watch, I'm, I'm gonna show you live um, how I'm gonna try to get, you know, filled here. Uh, eight days to expiration. So we're just going hunting here and they're very spready, but notice here, the 55 puts, you, it's 60 by 92, 54, this, this, and this. So I'm, I'm just gonna go hunting, watch. So I'm gonna try to get price improvement. I'm doing a 10 lot. Uh, let's see if we can get, um, you know, let's just start 73, see if I get Wow, I got filled instantly. So that's called price discovery. So if you get filled that quick, then try higher, try 80 cents and, and then work down. Uh, but let's continue here. So notice the $55 put, and, and let me back up for you, you know, new to trading. We prefer put spreads because it's less buying power consumption and it's uh, less uh, maximum risk in the event of a catastrophic gap down. But it's going to be so difficult to get on a good credit because of these wide spreads. So watch, for example, if I try doing a, a 52.53, you only get 21 cents because of this, this wide spread. So instead, where I'm, I'm con I do a lighter share and I'll consider I did it naked, but you get to pick which strike for what premium you're willing to take the risk, if at all. Trading this illiquid pot's high risk. So let me just make that really clear. But notice uh, the 59 put is only seven cents by 207. Come on, that's craziness. And part of the liquidity, though, is a function of the open interest. See how there's 4,000 open interest in this one? There's 6,000 in this one. And look how tight this one is. A buck and a quarter by a buck 45. So if you were so inclined, so what did I get? 73 cents or whatever? You could try to get a dollar 35 midpoint for selling the 60s, whereas I have $5 more cushion but you're making you know, a little less than twice the premium received. So everything's you know, risk to reward. Actually, let me just try a few of these um, and I'll show you how price discovery works again. Uh, you know, I'll have to go three, just a three lot. So let's see if I can get filled at midpoint a buck 35. I did, wow, I got filled instantly. See, he threw me on the offer there and it, it should disappear. Ah, no, I only got filled a one lot. So that's why the 135 is still there. So, you know, if I want to get filled the other ones, I got to, you know, keep lowering that until I see if I'm going to get filled. All right, so that's looking at that. My stop is going to be under the week's low, under 68.10. There you have it. That's the anatomy of selling a naked put. I prefer a put spread, but um, I make exceptions on the pattern when I can't get a good credit because of the illiquid uh, options. And it's a time decay strategy, eight days to expiration, and that's our trade, good trading.